there was a time where Mr. Porzingis was the unicorn, where Kevin Durant himself gave him that nickname, and he was playing for the Knicks, and Phil Jackson looked like he had gotten something right as a front office executive, which was saying something at the time. Uh, and we thought he was going to be that guy. You know, it, it is wild to think uh, that, that he's been doing this for so long, but he's still, I believe, 28. You know what I mean? Like, still got a decent amount of tread on those tires. He's a massively important piece for them this season. You're talking about, again, that Boston team that decided to retool. Brad Stevens, you know, could have gone with the the familiar and the conventional with Marcus Smart leading the way, and and he just, you know, up, you know, shaped that roster very, very differently in the summer. Porzingis, to me, and last night was was uh, was him showing kind of proving people like me wrong was somebody who going in. I just I didn't believe it from last year. I needed to see it again. Uh, but if this is him, if this is what it is, then, you know, then the Celtics are, are going to be phenomenal. Sam, I'm going to do something right now that's very in character and that you're going to hate. Say something crazy and off base. We're going to talk about <laughs> the 2022 23 Washington Wizards. Hey, now. Because. Porzingis last year goes to Washington, or I guess a year and a half ago, but it's his first full season in Washington last year. He had a really good defensive year last year. He really started to gather, I think, discipline as a paint presence. And if you look at Washington's defense last year, it wasn't very good. But the one thing they did well was they guarded shots at the rim. Him and Daniel Gafford were both really, really good rim protectors last year. The analytics show it. The eye test show it. However you want to look at it shows it. They actually used to play those two guys together, and they would get – those lineups did quite well. Porzingis is, has really become a paint presence, and you look at how he guarded last night. There's a possession early in the game where Julius Randle pump fakes him like three times, and Randle will use those fakes when he's right up against the rim all the time, and he's a really good foul drawer from it. He, he gets you up in the air all the time. And eventually, Randall kicks back out. It's very rare for him to kick back out on those sorts of plays. I asked him after the game, like, what's your progression there? Like, what is your read to kick back out? Like, when are you deciding, okay, I got to kick it out? And he looked at me like I was the dumbest person on the planet. And he goes, when he didn't jump. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. The seven foot three behemoth in front of you didn't jump. So you were like, I'm probably not going to make this shot. The point being, Porzingis is just so much more disciplined. Like, there were times... Back in the day when he would jump, but the athleticism would make up for it. Uh, he had an incredible block on RJ Barrett in transition. I think he had four blocks in that game. You know what the Knicks shot in the paint? Knicks shot 12 for 43, 29%. Good Lord. In the paint. Yeah, Julie, Julius Randle was with Julius Randle and Jalen and Jalen Brunson, who like the Knicks were a really good offensive team last year. People don't think of them as that because it's a Tom Thibodeau team. But like the Knicks were tied for third in points per possession during the regular season. They were a really good offensive team. And the reason why was because they had good shot selection. They won the possession game and they were really good in the paint and really good at getting to the line. These guys, Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, live in the paint. They're awesome in the paint. And they combined to go two for 21 in the paint. And part of that was them missing shots they normally make. And part of that was I thought Porzingis was just fabulous defensively on top of the fact that he was giving them 30 on the other end. Hey, hey, and by the way, that their perimeter defense is insane, right? With Tatum, Brown, Drew Holiday now, and Derek White. Derek, Derek White. White. Like yeah. that, that lineup, if Porzingis is what we're talking about, like, you know, consistently as a rim protector, I mean, that defense has a chance to be like, you know, best of this like last five seasons. Sure, sure. So Porzingis' final line, 30 points, plus 13, which was a game best. Uh, like you mentioned, Fred, four blocks, eight boards, a hell of a Celtics debut. Uh, maybe, guys, as I segue here, uh, maybe he was just tired of hearing Wemby get referred to as the unicorn type. You know what I mean? Like, you know, dude who's seven foot plus, dude who is a, uh, a defensive The original force. unicorn. Yes. Do you remember who, like... I remember Kevin Durant made that popular, right? Yes. I actually mentioned that while you were fixing your tech stuff. 